everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be painting on a tambourine. <laughs> and this is actually going to be a collab with my good friend Katie Vaughan. She has been a really good friend the past few years and she has an art channel and it's pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, we should all go check her out and we're painting tambourines together. So yeah, I have no idea what she's going to be painting on hers. But uh, I know it's going to be pretty awesome, so definitely check her video out after you finish watching this one. Alright, so let's get into painting our instrument. So here it is. It is your basic tambourine that you can get off eBay pretty cheaply. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So funny thing, I have actually been sitting on this tambourine for a few months now. Well, not literally. I don't sit on tambourines. But <laughs> I've owned this for a few months now while I still had the intention of drawing it. I just really didn't get around to doing it until today. And because I have been uh, holding on to this for quite a while, I have had so many different ideas for this. One of the ideas I actually had was to do sort of like Celtic knot uh, pattern around the outside. But uh, I don't know, I just didn't end up going with that one. And then another idea I had was to do a sort of Zen Tangle pattern that like comes from the middle and expands to the edges. And then I just didn't do it <laughs> either. <laughs> and then Katie said to me that she was going to be using her paint pens for this. And of course I had to dive in and uh, you know, copy her ideas <laughs> and use paint pens as well because this is a collab as I said. And then because I didn't know what to draw, I decided to do a mythical creature. But I'm not doing a dragon because I always draw dragons and uh, I want to mix it up a little bit. So as you can see, I am sketching out some wings here and this is because I'm going to be drawing a griffin. At the moment, I'm just sketching and this is with a 5B pencil. I picked that because it is very, very soft and I wouldn't have to push very hard on the uh, drum surface at all to get a nice line. So let's continue this sketch, why don't we? Okay, so now that I've done most of that, I just want to erase and clean up this a little bit and uh, yeah, this uh, is not really working the best. I'm kind of scared to push down hard on the drum area just because I don't want to bend it and as you can see it's sort of just smudging it around a little bit but I feel like I it's not permanent this stuff is quite smooth so I feel like I can if I keep going and cleaning this eraser I'm probably going to clean it up a bit hopefully anyways Okay, so I've cleaned it up as much as I can now and it doesn't matter too much because these markers are opaque, which is pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, first impressions, this stuff feels really smooth and it's actually really nice for these pens. I feel like it kind of feels better than paper to be honest. Whatever they're using for this drum surface, it feels uh, non-absorbent and very smooth and non-abrasive at all. So kind of the opposite of paper. <laughs> I like it, I like it. So for ideas for this, I kinda wanna draw a griffin, but I really want to try and make it as colorful as possible and not use any natural colors whatsoever. So my idea is um, to use like greens and purples and oranges and stuff and just try and get like a really interesting vibe with this. <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but let's continue. Okay, so we've got a nice base color of this sort of um, cyan -y color and now I've decided I want these um, claws at the front to be purple. I love purple, I think purple's an awesome color and uh, yeah, I think purple would look pretty nice down there. That's pretty much my whole reasoning for it. I think I'm going to have a um, light purple here on this arm. And for the back arm, I'm going to do a more darker purple, just to try and like push it into the background a little bit.
So now that we've got the front legs done, let's go into the back legs. And I have this sort of light beigey orange color here. I'm not sure if this is going to work really well with the color palette. It's a little bit more pastel, but who knows? Maybe I can like shade it with a more saturated orange and see how that turns out. Can I just say I love how opaque these pens are. It's just going right over that um, graphite and just covering up all of my little smudges and mistakes. And I like that. Okay, so I think I'm going to use this darker teal color here for the wings and uh, I really like the combination of this teal and sort of aqua color. They are quite close together on the color wheel and uh, yeah, it's a nice dual tone I guess. I just really like the look of these two colors together and uh, yeah, I think it works pretty well with um, the body of the bird section. Now I really hope this color palette doesn't get too crazy. I don't want it to really look rainbow per se, just like sort of unnatural and funky, I'm guessing. Here's an idea. How about I make all of the bird um, parts like a more cool tone? As you can see, this purple and teal here, they, they are quite cool colors. And the lion's uh, legs and like the tail part of the lion, maybe I'll make those like really warm colors. I think that that would look really cool because it would sort of like separate them a little bit. Hmm. Now let's just completely cover up this logo here. Uh, I'm actually really glad that I went with Posca pens because how opaque they are. I was kind of thinking I might have to work this logo into the design somewhere but then I realized I can use opaque mediums and cover it up and nobody will know. I'm actually really glad that Katie suggested Posca pens for this. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the tail section here and uh, just use that sort of beigey color. Now with this tail, it's actually quite interesting. I've like sort of decided on like a style of like a normal lion's tail, but instead of like a tuft on the end, there's like feathers that are like going like along the edge of it. <laughs> um, I don't know why I decided to do that, but I really, really like it. It's kind of dragon-like, honestly, but yeah, it looks really cool and it sort of helps to sort of, I don't know, blend the two animals together a little bit better. Also, doesn't this look just more interesting than a regular lion tail? That's what I think anyway. Okay, so I had to let that sit for a while to dry and now I am back and I really want to shade this area here and uh, huh, I don't know. I've already put it down on the page so I can't really take it back, but it's uh, not the best color to shade this soft um, beigey tone. <laughs> Who knows, maybe I can like, um, I don't know, make like a little gradient with like strokes or textures or something. But uh, yeah, no going back now. Okay, so that doesn't look too bad, but uh, time will tell. Anyways, let's shade this other back leg here. And this is a much better um, <laughs> combination. <laughs> it's kind of interesting how I decided to do like red on the back foot instead of like another orange but to be honest I'm very very limited in my oranges as you could tell by what I shaded with what and I think it suits I think it looks nice a little bit of red in here it's a warm color is I am going in with some details here as you can see with my really fine artistro paint pen and uh, a lot of these colors actually match up pretty well with the Posca pens I know I've had a lot of people ask that are the colors similar or are they like really different 
and uh, the colors for the most part are quite similar um, with a few differences especially the metallics and some of the tones are slightly different which kind of helps but I feel like this purple really matches up well don't you think but anyways I'm just going in with some details here since we do have some flat colors and uh, yeah let's see what we can turn this little guy into Okay, so I know I said I was going to have all of the bird sections um, sort of like cool colors, but I just have to do something here. I feel like the lion parts just aren't enough <laughs> and I need a little bit more warmth in that bird area. <laughs> so I'm actually using this light uh, yellow here, but it is a bit more of a cooler yellow tone. So I think it does, well, <laughs> that's a big blob. <laughs> um, I think it does work, especially since it's not like an orangey tone. So it's like a little bit separated from that lion section, but it still adds a nice sort of splash of bright color there. Also, if you think about it, there are sort of feathers all along the tail, which could like mean there's like a little bit of coolness on the tail there. So I think a little bit of warmth on the wings fits well. So we've done some texture on the back legs there. Now I feel like I need a bit more texture all over the rest of the body. So I'm going in with a light green here for the bird areas and uh, this is a bit of a highlight and a bit of a hue shift and I actually really like the look of this like light yellowy green on the soft aqua colour. I think it looks pretty cool. Now every kitty needs her claws, so let's draw some sharp claws on the back feet. Fabulous darling, fabulous. Now I'm going to go into the wings here and just add a little bit of highlights and uh, shadows as well. I'm using a light aqua artistro marker and this one is slightly a little bit lighter than the aqua Posca pen and I think it fits pretty well. It is quite bright for a highlight but uh, we can add some other tones in there to sort of you know mix things up. I'm not gonna go too crazy with the details. Um, I'm definitely not going to be you know rendering every single feather. I'm just gonna add some little uh, loose strokes here and there sort of illustrative kind of style and allude to that feather texture. This is really fun. I'm really liking the way it's turning out. So it's time for some more green. Now I wish this green was just a little bit darker so it would sort of stand out on uh, this uh, teal color. But who knows, hopefully it'll darken a little bit as it dries. Sometimes paint does that. But yeah, basically I'm just doing the exact same thing I did with the light color, but now it's a darker color. Now I'm not sure if you can see but I have gone into that yellow section on the wing here and I just did a little bit of a sort of like small feathery pattern and I really like that. I think it's an interesting texture uh, in between all of the like dots and lines. Now another thing I did was I made this guy's eye red. I just really love the look and I felt like it just needed a little bit more actual red in here and I'm really glad that I made that decision.
Now I'm just gonna go in here with uh, a dark blue and that's just because that green was just not dark enough for me. And I just want a little bit more shadow on the wings. And honestly, let's just put every color in this illustration. Who cares if it's rainbow? I kind of wanted it to look unnatural to begin with. So yeah. So here is the final result and I really love this. Uh, I just really love the look of it and I'm really glad that I also didn't do a background because I think the, the sort of raw texture of the whatever the surface is made of uh, looks pretty cool with the unnatural uh, sort of matte colors. <laughs> so anyways, definitely go check out Katie Vaughan. She is a very, very good close friend of mine and she has a little art channel which is really awesome and she does some really really cool stuff so yeah go check her out subscribe to her comment on all of her videos tell her that I sent you and just give her some love because she deserves it and while you're at it hit my subscribe button too if you haven't already it really helps me out thank you all for watching I hope you have an amazing day please stay safe and uh, I'll see you in my next video bye everyone